and this is Milk Astrology and today we're going to be doing another tarot reading um, except I wanted to make it more interesting and do like um, tarot predictions for your love life. I also want to be entirely transparent and let you guys know that today I'm, I'm feeling okay in terms of like energy wise like I can give you guys like a good reading. I just like in terms of appearance I'm just really you know going through it so, so you know not feeling my best not feeling i look my best so apolo I, apologies uh, i tried with my makeup today it just wasn't really working with me and yeah so today we're gonna be doing a message for your love life um and basically just messages that you might need to hear right now um pertaining to your love life um, I kind of want to make it a little fun though, um, and do like calling you out on your love life right now. So, yeah. Hello. So, I literally just recorded this video, but then I accidentally, I guess subconsciously, started doing a reading for fixed signs instead of I should have done for like fire or something. I, I switched from elements to like modalities, so my brain is working with me today. However, the only positive part about redoing this and then doing this for mutual signs is that um, at least you guys will get a longer video this way. Um, let me know if you guys like it this way or if you prefer that I start doing videos either like with individual signs or with um, elements again, just let me know. And also, um, yeah, so if you are a Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, or Virgo, this reading is for you. And this is also going to be more of a blunt reading. I want to switch up my video style. I'm doing your love life, where you're going wrong in your love life currently. Um, what you need to improve of. Ten of Cups reversed. You have a lot going on and you might not really have the execution to get it done because you're trying to do too much right now. You're overextending yourself. You're doing too much. You have King of Swords reversed as well. So you could be communicating in ways that are probably offensive and you don't realize it. You could be offending the people that you care about the most too. So just be cautious of that. King of Wands reversed. Again, I feel like you're maybe neglecting your partnerships or you're feeling very defensive towards them i feel like you're kind of hostile there's something going on underneath this and you also have two of swords so again back to like being more combative um i feel like your needs are not being met in a way that you need them to be you also have queen of wands so i do feel like you're ready to start doing something new i think you're frustrated because you're bored and instead of kind of just trying to switch up things or be the creative energy in the relationship that you're wanting you're just being kind of aggressive right now um i think that you could even be taking things out on your significant other or your partner or the people that you care about and i think this is unintentional i think you're just stressed and you're bored and when you're bored you get very frustrated um and fixed signs also got this card so nine of cups are you content or are you fulfilled because there's literally a huge difference and sometimes you can settle um when you don't mean to. I think it's important to challenge yourself, but I also think it's important to stop expecting other people to be your source of entertainment. Like, they're not light switches. Um, and if you want a more creative and like interesting relationship dynamic, you should probably um, think of things that are also, you know, that you can bring to the table as well. You uh, can't expect everyone else to just be the only source of entertainment and then not bring anything to the table and get mad when there's nothing to contribute. Um, and then judgment here. So, Either you're being very critical right now or other people are being very hyper aware of you and this could be making you defensive. Um, maybe in your love life you guys are hitting some like annoyances with one another. Um, and I, I do think this just stems from maybe the fact that it's like a pandemic, it's COVID and you're probably just bored and frustrated and maybe you're seeing too much of people right now and maybe that's too much for you. Sometimes you need your own alone time. So I would also just like caution, you know, make sure that you're getting that. Um, Eight of Swords reverse, you're being really hard on yourself. I think maybe there's some underlying issues that you're not talking about right now that you need to. Um, maybe you're feeling insecure and you don't want to admit that you're feeling insecure because mutual signs do not like to appear vulnerable. 
um so i do think that could also be a contributing factor you have the star and ace of cups reversed so i do think that maybe you're like hitting some positive successes in your life right now maybe with career maybe with friends um i do think maybe overall your relationship is doing well but i feel like you're creating problems and self-sabotaging instead of just admitting the things that you're vulnerable and insecure about um and i do think that this stems from the fact that you like to be in control of everything and you don't like to come off vulnerable i feel like coming off vulnerable is like giving someone ammo against you um and i think that could be why you're a bit more on edge lately because maybe you're realizing how much you care about someone and you don't want to so ten of cups overall it looks like you know there's a lot to be you know celebrated within your personal life at least your personal relationships but two of cups is reversed so either you feel like you're doing too much or they're feeling like they're doing too much um and i think communicating that um or kind of establishing better boundaries right now in your relationship dynamics is incredibly important um and if you're single you could just be someone that's very hypercritical and have a lot of expectations of people um because you have a lot of expectations on yourself and you're scared of getting hurt so it's easier to just push people away instead of just like tell them how you're feeling um four of wands and seven of cups reversed uh again just central theme of you needing to articulate what you're experiencing and how you're feeling right now because i don't feel like you are doing that enough i feel like you need to declutter your mind and reprioritize what you want because if you don't even know what you want how are other people supposed to know what you want you know so i feel like just overall being a bit more ready to discuss how you've been feeling lately even if it even if you don't want to tell someone everything i think it's important to just consider like letting people have some kind of understanding of where you're coming from um because you can't always like withhold and then just expect them to read your mind um i know it's frustrating but yeah so that's overall my very blunt reading for you if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me like what you want to see. If you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more videos like something else, um, if you want to see what I eat in a day, like just let me know so I know what to post and I will see you in my next video. So this reading is for my cardinal signs. Cardinal signs are Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries. You looks like you're looking ahead at something. You have a lot of goals and a lot of optimism and i think you're pretty excited lately to start doing something different either you also have the death card so i do feel like you're going through huge transformations either maybe you're looking ahead and letting go of a relationship dynamic that you wanted for yourself for a while maybe you are excited about where the direction of your relationship is currently going um i do feel like you're feeling more optimistic and i feel like you're kind of at a standstill where you're ready to let go and move ahead However, you do have Four of Cups, so I would caution needing to rest more and be a bit more aware of your own limitations and like when you're burnt out. I feel like you could be trying to look ahead and trying to create new goals for yourself because you're not currently feeling very satisfied with your life. You typically never do, no offense. Um, so I do feel like, okay, you're getting a lot of recognition lately. You're more optimistic. Something's really going... I feel like if you're single, this is overall really good spread for like you wanting to put yourself out there more. However, if you're in a relationship, I would probably deduce that you are ready to start a new chapter in your life with or without that person. Um, and you also have King of Pentacles reverse, so I would caution how you're planning ahead. Like if the things that you want are things that you've actually thought about and put energy and like investment into, or if you've just been like impulsively kind of, um, jumping around and hoping for the best king of swords reverse so be careful with your speech um because you could be very blunt right now and i think you could hurt some people if you're not meaning to like push your partner away or um be cold towards your partner i would really just try to involve them more in some of the plans and things that you're doing because it looks like you're being a bit more um self-oriented as per usual so <laughs> The world is reversed, so again, I do feel like you 
you're trying to run away from something. I feel like you're hiding something. So I, I, I don't know. I feel like you need to start being more vocal about what you want um, and like allow people to know when you're not happy with what you're currently doing. Ace of Wands, again, there's still this fire energy with you. You have a lot of ambition right now. I could see why that might be because Mars is no longer retrograde. So you could be just feeling a lot of, you know, optimism towards your goals and the things that you want. I do think that looking ahead, overall your relationship is going to be okay. I think that like if you are in a relationship currently, you might just be like redefining it and strengthening it. Um, I would, however, just caution like, leaving people in the dark about things because you could just be very animated and excited and then like kind of put unintentionally the bleaker but on the back burner nine of pentacles reversed so with nine of pentacles reversed i feel like you're going through a sense of like self-love and reinvesting in yourself perhaps you went through a really long period of over prioritizing other people and now you're ready to start prioritizing yourself However, just be mindful of like the people that were there for you when you needed them and remember to give them back that same energy because I do feel like you're more focused on what you want and how you're feeling right now and I, that could create some issues. And I'm also like you keep getting pentacle cards reversed so I really want to just reiterate like if you're not thinking things through, you could spend money you don't have or do things that you don't need to do and then end up regretting them. So I would just be careful because it does look like you're going through a like a situation in your life that's going to really redefine and reshape the direction of what you want to do with your life however um being cautious of not putting the people that you love on the back burner is really kind of the focal point here because i do feel like you're very quick to react on how something might sound good in the moment versus what it actually could end up being um Eight of Wands reversed, so so things are not moving at the pace that you want them to go on, go toward, and I feel like that's frustrating you because you're someone that when you want something done, you want it done quick, you want it done efficiently. Um, however, you need to be patient, both with yourself and other people, because again, I really feel like you could hurt someone's feelings right now, uh, especially if you don't mean to. Um, however, I do feel like you are prioritizing yourself, so if you were in a situation recently where someone was kind of a jerk or didn't really deserve that energy, and like I do feel like you're switching up now and you're becoming more focused on yourself, you have the high priestess, so this is a really good time to start nurturing yourself and your ambitions and needs, but also making sure you're taking care of the people in your life. Again, huge themes about nurturing people. Um, yeah, overall, I just feel like you need to... Be mindful of the approach that you want to do and how you do it. Because I feel like you could get messy. Things are gonna get messy. Um, the heroine, heroine, heroine reverse. I do think you need to start calling some people out though. I feel like maybe this is why you're feeling so restless and so ambitious because you're ready to start like going in every which way, um, almost to get away from someone. So I do feel like you need to start being more vocal. Like if someone is saying something and you don't feel like it's, um, as accurate as they might try to make it sound, it's important to call people out and to, to really just redefine what they're saying or get a better understanding of what they're saying because you need to start getting on the same page with people, whether that means dismantling, um, you know, someone's narcissism or if it's that, if it's like being more um, accepting of growth in a relationship dynamic have a huge friction and tension surrounding like needing to grow is a theme right now so be susceptible and discerning of who deserves your um kindness and who doesn't because i feel like that is a huge thing that you might mix up right now so yeah overall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't still like it anyways um, and don't forget to comment below and tell me if you like this kind of stuff, if you want to see more like it, if you want to see less of it, um, and please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. This reading is for my fixed signs. Um, I think because this is a love reading, applying your Venus is the most accurate, however, um, you might not want to. You can apply your rising, you can apply your sun. I just think that the um, overall the, the moon and the Venus might be the most you know helpful here because tarot is about your emotions, it's about your emotional state, and this is about your love life specifically. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. The message doesn't want to come out for you guys. So stopping it three times cleanses the deck. If you didn't know that, 
the lots of cards fell out. I'm gonna reshuffle because I don't feel like that was accurate. What is what is something that you need to start doing better with your love life? What is something that you need to start improving on in your love life? Calling you out based on your love life. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. I wanna get, um, you know, make that point, make that, execute that point perfectly. Okay, so High Priestess, but Page of Wands is reversed. So how are you meeting your needs? How are you prioritizing yourself? Are you expecting other people to um, kind of fight your battles for you or fix your battles for you? Um, I also think that maybe you're not being as critical about what you're doing lately and also what your partner is doing lately. I feel like you have somewhat of a like blind sense of faith right now in this person or in in your relationship life in general. You have nine of cups reversed. Um, so I kind of feel like you're stagnant. Um, I feel like you're content though. And when big signs are content, they just feel like they're fine even when they're not or even when they should definitely still encourage themselves for growth. However, because when you're fine or when you're complacent, you usually feel like you're fulfilled. Um, however, I would pose that you're maybe not fulfilled and maybe you're not where you wanna be. Um, I just think you're kind of giving up a bit. So you have seven of cups reverse, and this is making me think that either you have options right now, fixed signs, or you are um, playing the field, or I don't know, I feel like you're looking around, like you have a wandering eye or something. I wonder if like maybe because you haven't been super content lately, um, maybe you haven't been speaking up or actually letting people know how you're feeling. Maybe you've been hiding this. I feel like you need to figure out if you're content or if you're fulfilled, because there's a huge difference. And you also have Knight of Cups reverse. So how are you helping yourself right now? Are you, um, are you focusing and prioritizing on your own needs as well or are you just prioritizing on someone else the chariot so you are going to need to start making some dramatic changes with the direction of either your love life where it's going or where you want it to go um again i do have that like wandering eye vibe so you could be thinking about leaving a relationship or maybe talking to someone else if you're single um i feel like you kind of feel a bit two of cups so I definitely feel like you're interested in someone or you're invested in someone. I think I just wonder if you're um, taking enough care of yourself, if you're being mindful of your own needs, or if you're just trying to get by, like if you're just settling. Um, so that's kind of where your headspace is at. I feel like you need to start being more vocal about what you want um, because I don't think that the people around you are aware of how you've been feeling. Um, and I mean the chariot next okay so the emperor reverse either someone in your life is very vocal and very analytical um to the point that it's kind of like their way or the highway right now and I think as a fixed sign specifically it's scary when you go quiet or when you go silent because that's usually when you're plotting like how to get away from this person um so maybe you just haven't been happy with, and maybe in areas in your life um queen of wands um so again i feel like this is more about communication i feel like you're ready for something to change whether this is um making your significant other propose or um wanting them more time with them or wanting less time with them i feel like overall the theme is you need to start being the change in the relationship that you're expecting um you know sometimes fixed signs have an, like an energy or way about them to be like oh i want um you to be more romantic i want you to start giving me flowers but then they don't usually put in the same energy at times they kind of just want it from their thing to another so i think just really questioning how you are able to um start being the change in the relationship dynamic that you're expecting so much of other people is really important but i also think just not being complacent is very important because you have a habit of just settling um so just making sure that your needs are being met and that you are being vocal about them is really um kind of the key here death reversed uh my air signs also got this one so you're stuck lately you're stuck in feeling like this is kind of it for you and I feel like it's important that you keep in mind you also have the chariot so 
radical changes are going to happen whether you want them to or not and especially as a fixed sign you probably really don't want them to however you really need them to so remaining open and being kind of willing to make those changes and accepting that you might have to have some discussions right now because it doesn't look like you're happy um the high priestess so again this came up now twice for you i think just being really prioritizing of like who matters to you at the end of the day what do you want at the end of the day and how are you going to achieve those things how are you going to communicate those things because um i don't think that people are aware of how you've been feeling i don't think people are aware that you've been very bored or complacent lately that you feel stuck and that you're trying to go into a different direction with your life you have the moon you've been very emotional in your feelings um you've also been a bit paranoid and a bit anxious you might have been having weird dreams lately you might have been um just hypersensitive and i think this stems from the fact that you're probably just not as happy as you thought you were um and this doesn't have to mean that you have to break up with someone but i do feel like you have to start readjusting um your expectations and figure out if they're being met and also figure out how you can meet them yourself um because sometimes we can't expect someone to save us from ourselves sometimes we have to save us from ourselves so yeah that's overall this reading if you feel like this was helpful though or positive or super blunt but in a good way um please consider giving this a like and a thumbs up and a comment below on like what kind of videos you want to start seeing from me if you want to see more um astrology more tarot more vlog styles type like tarot um just let me know because i really need all the help i can get right now and um please don't forget to subscri subscribe if you liked this video consider subscribing um and i will see you in my next video